guys, today I thought I'd talk about what it's like to be a contracting project manager in an office with people doing a very similar job to you, but who are not contractors. This I found really weird. I never treated contractors any differently when I before I was a contractor. And now I am a contractor, I definitely see the subtle differences that the way contractors and employees are treated. Some of them are obvious, big and legal uh, things. Firstly, uh, training. As a contractor, the company generally doesn't train you. Every now and again, you'll get put on courses which are not personal development courses as such. They're more to do with how to use that company's systems. They're generally fine because, frankly, that's the only way to learn the systems. You can either learn it on the job or through a course. <laughs> Those courses generally are seen as okay. Whereas courses for personal development, maybe um, the project management qualification, maybe helping you get chartered, those sort of things, the company is not meant to help you or fund you to do. If they start doing that sort of thing, you could be seen as a hidden employee by the tax man, um, which would completely change the way tax is paid um, and just generally isn't what you're meant to have done. So you should be paying for all of your own training as a contractor and sometimes that's a bit weird, um, like an email came out a couple of weeks ago to all the project managers in my company saying, we're doing a conference, come along. And I had to go, I'd love to, but you can't fund me do a conference. So I'm just going to get on with my work. You're there to work. Really, pretty much every hour that you're in the office should be working. Within reason. Obviously, everyone has tea, everyone chats, everyone needs the loo. So training's the big one. Line management. Uh, your line manager generally doesn't do like a yearly or six monthly review with you. I try and get these, to, I need to do one in this job, I still haven't done one. <laughs> um, I generally try um, to get one regularly because you need to know how you're doing in order to improve. Um, but it's not something that the company generally does because you have to be careful again because you don't want to look like a hidden employee. But you do need regular feedback. If you think of it as a client uh, relationship, you'd ask your clients for feedback, so of course you ask them for feedback. Um, but it doesn't happen automatically and quite often when you have a line manager they will look after their staff and make sure they're developing and getting better with you if you're not good enough they'll just get rid of you so you need to work really hard at being good enough but also getting that feedback so you can be good enough then we have things like annual leave and sick leave so obviously you don't get paid for sick leave you just don't get paid for that day but for annual leave again you don't get paid but also you technically don't have to get it approved Obviously, you need to kind of make sure everyone knows when you're going on holiday and you need to manage it and make sure you're not leaving everyone in the lurch. They could fire you if you take random days off and they need you in the office. But that's quite a severe thing to think about. Um, I generally try and just try and book my holiday in as early as possible. Um, if I do take sort of half days off at short notice, because sometimes with the, um, the volunteering I do with the Association for Project Management, things come up like a week in advance and I go, sod it, I'm going to go. And that means that I do give shorter notice, but also I try and make sure that I'm available and ready um, if needed for an urgent matter. So I have my mobile phone on me, all that sort of thing. One thing I do like about contracting is actually you have an unlimited amount of annual leave. Obviously you'll earn less, but also it means that if you take a half day off, you're not sitting there going, oh, now I'm only down to 18.5 days. You're like, okay, have I still done my job? Am I here enough to do the job? Yeah, we're good. Um, as long as you're earning enough to be happy to, to lose that money. The culture in the office. Um, technically, core hours shouldn't apply to contractors, but you get looked on really badly if you don't sort of abide by them. There's lots of rules, like the annual leave rule, where actually it's best to follow them because you want to keep harmony in the office and you don't want to look too different. I definitely find there is a bit of us and them. It depends who you're talking to and definitely people who have been contractors are always friendly um, and you do get a bit of a contractor sort of camaraderie and um, giving each other tips because with contracting there's a lot of keeping schmum. A lot of people won't give contracting tips unless you're already a contractor and I've always found that quite annoying. Um, in all honesty, once I properly decided to be a contractor and I told people that, they were happy to give me advice. But if you just casually ask for advice, most contractors just don't want to talk about it. Because also, a lot of people ask about it, but have no intention and really just want to find out how much you earn. And that's part of what causes the tensions. Contractors generally earn more than the rest of the staff. Um, but that's not always true. I had one job uh, where I'd say earned 
I earned a few grand a year, more than the top um, sort of performing people in my role, maybe five or six grand. But once you take out of that, the extra hours I have to take doing the admin, the fact that I wasn't getting a pension, the fact that I wasn't getting stock options, the fact that I wasn't getting annual leave. So I got put um, in furlough for two weeks, so I didn't work for two weeks. Just don't get any money. The salary people who are earning a few grand less than me got all those things. I also spend a couple of grand a year on personal development, on training courses, which again, they get paid for as part of their whole package. So actually in the end, I think I ended up on a pretty par on par with them, if not slightly lower. Whereas other jobs I haven't slightly more, and it balances out. So I don't always uh, put m take much notice to this contractors earn money more than everyone else. On average, over the last few years since contracting, I've earned marginally more than I would have done, but not a massive, massive amount when you take into account the benefits. I think my extra earning power now, a lot of it comes from the fact that I've worked for a lot of different companies, I've done a lot of stuff, I know how to run my own business, and those skills have paid off in making me more skilled in doing stuff. <laughs> Um, but people do get funny about it, and people do get funny about contractors, especially because you move around, they get threatened, but also it's like, they're going to get rid of me, I'm not threatening your job. But in all honesty, a lot of companies also love having contractors in because you bring in new skills and you can say, oh, I went to this company a few years ago that had that problem and they fixed it like this. It gives a lot uh, more rounded um, experience to the team, it gives that experience of other companies, of other places, other types of projects, and it can really input a bit of a boost, and a bit of a boost of energy. If you've got a team who've been the same people for ages, bringing in a contractor quite often just gives it a bit of an oomph, a bit of excitement, um, and changes things up and changes the team dynamics. So I've talked about working with your manager upwards, because generally you get someone who is basically a line manager. I've talked about working with your team, I've talked about the tensions, but generally I've overplayed the tensions, the tensions usually are barely there, people don't care. Working downwards. As a contractor you don't line manage anyone, because that doesn't work, if you can't have a non-employee line managing people. But quite often you do manage people, it's just someone else does the actual line management. And that's quite interesting. That's a different skill set in itself to line management as such, because you don't have any power to do anything if they're not uh, performing in their job. You obviously have to go via their uh, line manager. Um, I'll do another video on that because it's something that's relevant to all project managers, because most project managers don't actually manage the project team. They manage them in a day-to-day -day basis, but not as a line manager. But as a contractor, you end up doing that all the time. So I've talked about the financial differences, the practical differences, upwards, sideways, downwards, with the company. Ah, oh, my favourite thing about contracting is you don't have to talk to HR. Uh, no one likes HR, except they're lovely people, don't get me wrong, but also it just adds process. But also it's very valuable if there's any complaints and things like that, and actually I've had some amazing um, interactions with HR to fix problems that I've had with other employees. Um, but you don't deal with HR at all, and that can come as a blessing or a curse. Um, IT. When you start your job, um, I've definitely been to quite a few companies where the way the process works is HR start you up as a new starter in the system, and that triggers things to order all your IT and all your logins, and then you start a few weeks later. As a contractor, quite often they haven't set up the process quite as well, so quite often you arrive and there's no IT and uh, you have to wait for your line manager to order it and it ends up a bit more of a faff and you've got to be careful during that time because obviously if you're not working why are you there? So quite often I do take some days off um, or I come in um, to read stuff but you've got to get the balance right because obviously if you just take days off until you've got your IT there you're not there to soak in the information but also if you're just there claiming a day rate every day with no IT and just sitting there staring at the wall you're wasting their money um, so it's quite hard to balance that and I still haven't got that right um, and that happens also I was between projects a couple of months ago I'd had one being just being canned and the next one wasn't quite starting yet and I decided to take a couple of days off and halfway through the first day I was getting this phone call going come on we need you in and I'm going I've gone up London I'm having fun like ah oh, I'd known I would have gone in um, so I called wrong then I should have actually gone in and they would have found work, work for me um, one of those things. <laughs> but yeah, you, you don't work with HR in the same way, quite often the booking system and IT don't work in the same way, quite often you're given lower permissions to access information than proper employees. Um, not always, and so at the moment 
I can't see people's hierarchies. So usually when you go in Outlook, you can see who their boss is, but for some reason, I can't see that as a contractor. And apparently it's a common thing across the company for contractors not to be able to see that, um, which is quite annoying when you're trying to find out who someone works with. Uh, I think that's it really. Um, it's not major differences, they're just differences. Um, and they're things, a lot of them, you just have to work that little bit harder to make sure things are smooth. A lot of the time it can totally be your choice just to ignore them. Things like personal reviews with your manager, you could go, don't want one of them. Fine, fine. But personally, I like to get that feedback so that I know how well I'm doing. I also hate getting feedback and it's really scary. So my last job, I barely asked for that. And actually, in hindsight, I should have done, but so what do you think of my video? Are you a contractor? Have you had similar experiences? Do the like, do the subscribe, do the comment. I would love to see some comments from other contractors or other employees. How do you find working with contractors? I'll see you soon. Bye.